Hello, my name is Dr. James O. Webb, and I will be your uh, instructor for the next 15 minutes. And I will be discussing the installation and use of the R programming language in R Studio. R Studio is a uh, IDE that you will use and complement with uh, R. The installation process, first and foremost, it is important that you ensure that you have admin rights. Uh, on the computer that you're going to be using to install this application. Next, we're going to go to the website http crane.r-project.org and that's where we're going to find the R programming uh, application. It's a free application. For this, for this briefing, we're going to be using the Windows uh, version of the installation. Yeah, and you'll see there's various platforms you can install R on, but for this demonstration, we're just going to be installing on Windows. Uh, the steps we'll download R for Windows, we'll select a base subdirectory, and then we'll uh, download the current version of uh, R. The current version at the time of this recording is R 3.1.0. We'll then be asked uh, to select the uh, language that we want to use. For this application, we'll be using English. And then um, we'll run the setup wizard. And during that setup wizard, we're just going to accept all the defaults. After we finish installing R, we'll then download the uh, free user friendly IDE uh, for R, which is called R Studio. R Studio can be found at the following address http www.rstudio.com. After we install uh, the R Studio, then we'll just kind of do a quick little tour of the application so you can kind of get a feel for the different uh, benefits that it provides you. Again, it's an awesome graphical user interface. Uh, included with it are various packages and libraries. Uh, there's also several data sets that you can choose and use for uh, some of your um, uh, homework exercises or just to kind of get familiar with it. You'll also have some sample code in there uh, that you'll be able to use and run uh, in order to ensure that the uh, R Studio is properly installed. Okay? Now, without any further ado, at this time, we're going to get started. Okay. We're now, at this time, you'll go to uh, the following URL http cran.r project.org. Once we're there, we'll then uh, you should see a screen similar to what you see uh, right now. The next, we'll have to select which platform that we'd like to install it on. For this demonstration, we're going to be uh, using the Windows platform, so we'll select Download R for Windows. Next, you have an offer. The, uh, you're asked to select the, the subdirectory which you want to install from. Well, what we want to do is we want to install from the base subdirectory. So you'll select base. Then the next selection is we want to download R 3.10 for Windows. Uh, this file has a size of 54 megabytes and it uh, operates under the, both the 32 and the 64 bit operating systems. Okay, so you'll now select download R. Now at the bottom of your screen, you'll see uh, it'll offer you to uh, select run, save, or cancel. So at this time I'm going to go ahead and select run and I'll just go ahead and pause and wait for this uh, for it to com complete with the run. Okay, the next screen, uh, you, you might have received another screen as far as from your fire, you know, to ensure that uh, you wanted to accept that program. Um, but uh, the next screen you should see will be select uh, the, the setup language and for mine uh, it's English. Select OK and then you'll go through the setup wizard and again we'll select all the defaults uh, from the setup wizard. So I'll say next, next, next. Now the screen that I received right now you probably won't receive this is because I've already installed R on the system but I'll say go ahead and overwrite it and install anyway. And again continue selecting the defaults Next, even though I'll allow it to put the R um, on my uh, start 
menu folder. Again, the additional tasks, select next. Okay, it'll just take a few seconds for it to complete the, uh, to extract uh, the files and to complete with the install. So at this time, I'll just go ahead and pause uh, my system until it completes with that portion of the install. And I'll be right back. Okay, and now that it's completed that portion of the install, uh, you'll then select finish. And we are now, uh, have now completed the um, install for R. Just so you can see on your startup menu, you should see uh, two icons, one for the th uh, 3D6 and one for the 64. Uh, bit versions of the uh, application, 32-bit and 64-bit. Okay. So at this time, we'll now bring up uh, or go to the R Studio homepage. The R Studio uh, homepage will be located at the uh, following address: www.rstudio.com. At this point, you will then select the Download Now for the uh, in order to to uh, accept the um, IDE. You have two options. Either you can use the RStudio desktop or an RStudio um, server. We're going to select the desktop. Next, you have various platforms again that you can uh, select from. The system will by default uh, recommend uh, a platform for you based on its uh, uh, quick analysis as far as what operating system it thinks that you're running. And this selection is correct for me. It's the, I'm using Windows 7 at this time, so you'll select this. On the bottom of the screen, uh, you'll have a uh, choice of Run, Save, or Cancel. I'll select Run. Now, at this time, it's uh, running the application. So, I will select uh, for it to run. And then uh, it offers you the wizard, the setup wizard. And again, for this, you just go through and select all the defaults. So I'll say next, next, install. Now, it only takes a few minutes for it to complete the install. But again, so you don't have to just sit here and watch my screen as it goes through the install. I'll pause my system and uh, I'll come back uh, with, and join you in just a few seconds. Okay. Uh, this time it, uh, it's completed with the download and the install so you'll then select finish and uh, you should now have properly installed the uh, RStudio IDE. Now this time uh, let's go to our screen and um, you should be able to go into your start menu and uh, if, if you can go through all programs and then you'll uh, come down and you'll find the uh, RStudio And here it is for me under the folder R Studio, and I'll select R Studio. Okay. Now, once R Studio comes up, now the reason why mine has a, all this junk in it is because I've been using the program earlier. So let me just clear it out for you. All right. And uh, as far as the, let's just go back to packages. Okay. Um, your screen more than likely will look something like this when you first bring it up. Um, the um, upper part of the screen, you'll see there. Okay, now um, the first thing I'd like to show you is the uh, this portion of the screen. This is the console, and so these are things that will be just continually be printed out onto your monitor. You can either use the uh, command line in order to type uh, R script or R commands uh, from here. But again, then you just you miss out on the power of using this IDE. Uh, in this window, it'll show you all the global uh, environmental variables. And you can import and export data sets from here as well. And from this selection, you, again, you have various. One, you have uh, files, which will show you the files that are currently where your uh, working group or working directory is currently pointing. Uh, next, you'll have uh, you know, plots, any plots that are going to be displayed on the screen will appear in this window. Uh, the packages, and that's what I'm going to focus right now. The various packages. These packages are like libraries 
of uh, information that you can use. Uh, it really cuts down on the amount of code that you have to type. There's also uh, data sets in here. Uh, data sets are um, uh, predefined data that has been collected to include with some sample scripts that you can use to uh, manipulate that data. Um, there's lots of other data sets available to you uh, on the internet that you can use, but again, the power of this is to be able to now import uh, these large data sets um, or, or to run these uh, R scripts against these large data sets. So that, to give you an example of what I'm talking about, let me go to uh, right here where it says data sets. The R data sets package in here, they'll tell you about the different data sets that they have with a, a short description on exactly what the, that particular data set is. Now, uh, what we're going to do for this for the demonstration is let's just use the cars data set. This is going to be a data set that had and some code that shows you about um, average measuring speed and stopping distance of cars. So as I select cars, uh, one at the top of the table, the name of the data set is called cars. Um, it tells you that uh, as a short description that the data uh, gives the speed of cars and the distance taken to stop. Uh, these, this data was uh, recorded back in the 1920s, so um, it's a little uh, old. <laughs> so uh, next, um, the usage, I'm just going to call it the CARS data, database. Um, the format, um, uh, they have 50 observations on two variables that we're going to be using. The variables we're going to be using are one speed over distance. Uh, the source for this particular um, uh, research was um, from uh, this location here. And next, the references are also be found here. Okay. Now the actual code that we're going to be using is uh, right here under where it says examples. So all you do is just highlight the code. And then we're going to copy it. So I just do a right click on my mouse and press copy. And then I come up to where well, you see the little plus sign, or you could go to File and say New File, and then select R Script. Or as a shortcut, you can just select the uh, little paper with the plus sign, and then select R Script. It opens up the script window, and in the script window, window we just do a right click, and we'll paste that code we just copied. Now the way we're going to be running under this IDE is any code that we want to run. All you have to do is highlight that section of the code you'd like to run, and then we'll select this button that says Run. Now note, after that code is now run, you can see the results of that uh, R uh, script here. Uh, and down first, down in the uh, console, you'll actually see the output from what was produced from that uh, run. Okay, then. The next thing you'll notice is these are the various values of the data that was being used for this uh, code. And then finally, this is the actual results of the stopping distance over uh, the speed. And you'll see the various data points as far as what they were using as far as uh, to calculate for calculations. Again, in these packages, I mean, there's a very robust set of uh, code. Uh, as another good example that you would, you'll also find very valuable are things such as uh, the uh, the R stats package. I'll just open that up for you real quickly, and you can see just by as you look through here of uh, the different um, uh, statistical analysis that are available that you can use to you know bring into your code, and so it really cuts down on the amount of uh, program that you'll have to do as far as for using some of these. There's lots of uh, data available on the internet that you'll be able to find that'll provide you with a little more information on how to use uh, the R programming language. To, in, uh, to include now, there's nothing, a lot, not a lot more to, to really uh, figure out as far as how to use this, uh, the R Studio. But again, it's a very flexible and powerful uh, IDE that I'm sure you'll uh, grow to enjoy. Okay, again, my name is Dr. James Webb with Colorado Technical University, and uh, this concludes the uh, introduction of installing 
R and R Studio.